Atlanta police detective Sidney Dorsey, tough, experienced, streetwise, 22 years a cop, 15 of them spent investigating murders. On August 21st, 1980, Dorsey picked up a case he can't forget, the murder of 13-year-old Clifford Jones, whose body was found beside this dumpster behind a Northwest Atlanta laundromat. Cause of death, strangulation. The murder of Clifford Jones, one of 22 blamed on Wayne Williams, linked to him by circumstantial fiber evidence following Williams' 1982 conviction of two other murders. I think that James Edward Brooks is the best suspect. James Edward Brooks, a 36-year-old homosexual convicted felon, identified by at least five witnesses as being with, killing or disposing of Clifford Jones. James Edward Brooks, questioned by Sid Dorsey and four other investigators, Brooks failing at least two lie detector tests. Also questioned by Dorsey, Fred Cosby, then a 19-year-old high school student who claimed to have witnessed the sexual molestation and murder of Clifford Jones. Cosby telling investigators, quote, when the little boy started crying real loud, Jamie put a rope around the little boy's neck and pulled on the rope. We had absolutely no reason to disbelieve him. Uh, he was discovered. Uh, he, he gave his statement freely and voluntarily without threats or promises. There were other witnesses who gave credible uh, statements uh, that I found, I uh, felt was critical uh, to, the, uh, uh, to the investigation. It added credibility to the statement given us by C Cosby. Based on those statements, Dorsey and at least two other investigators wanted to arrest Brooks for Clifford Jones's murder. But because Fred Cosby was deemed a slow thinker by police bosses and prosecutors, Cosby's statement against Brooks was discounted, but not by Sid Dorsey. It is your belief, is it not, that James Edward Brooks killed Clifford Jones? I haven't uh, seen anything that has changed my mind as yet. What would you like to see done with this case? What should be done with it? I'd like to see it reopened. And if it is reopened, where would the investigation lead today? I think the investigation should pick up where it left off. The police file on the Clifford Jones murder was obtained last week by Channel 2 News under court order. The file revealing that investigators were still attempting to make a case against Brooks even after Wayne Williams became a suspect on May 22, 1981. Reopening the Jones case could disprove the 23 other murder cases blamed on Wayne Williams, all linked by the same fiber evidence. For the record, we attempted to speak with two other Atlanta police officers, a GBI agent and two FBI agents who also investigated the Clifford Jones murder and whose reports are contained in this file. The GBI agent, although given permission to talk to us by his supervisor, declined to do so. The other law enforcement officers were ordered by their supervisors not to talk. Former Atlanta Public Safety Commissioner Lee Brown and his successor George Knapper still declined to comment on the Clifford Jones case. Bob Serkin, Channel 2 Action News.